Hello guys, it's a quick video on the Toyota Venti 2011 and this is a video on how to remove the front door cover, driver's side and how to change your window regulator, the motor and the window itself so as you can see that's the door cover first thing you'll have to do is remove the bit, plastic bit that goes here all you have to do is just get a little plastic tool behind it and pull it off and then you have one Phillips screw in there and the other Phillips screw in there here you got the console sorry that I already removed it but it's a lot easier to explain it when it's removed so you're gonna have that's the cover I was talking about then you're gonna have a console there to remove it you need to remove this bit first get a plastic tool under there and pull it out and then they just slide out so that's not really a big problem the clip you just need to press that in and pull it off I left it all connected because I need to operate the window up and down to remove it so once you've done that you need to remove a little screw that's going to be in there with a the rubber on it and there's only three screws the other thing you have to do is remove a little plastic cover from there and you're going to have a little screw in there that's the cover just comes off quite nice and easy after you've done that like on all the covers you have to just get behind the panel get a plastic tool behind the panel and start by removing it from bottom to the top once that's done that's what you're gonna have you need to remove this little plug from the light just squeeze it in and remove it from the light and obviously this thing all you have to do is just turn it it will come through the cover so it's all nice and easy and that's the other plug that you're gonna have going into the motor itself that's gonna be behind there as you can see here that's the motor that's where the plug goes that's nice and easy as well everything that holds the motor is 10 mil little bolts there's five of them that hold the thing itself this one is the one that goes into the window so there's gonna be one there one there and one in there and another two one there another one in there once they are you have to First, obviously, remove the window that holds it. You have to lower the window till the bolt comes up and aligns with this hole, which is gonna be in that slider. They're gonna come down. So you need to connect this to get your window down, or just push it by hand to see the little 10 mil bolt there and do it. Take the bolt out so the window is loose and off. Then you're going to need to remove this little cover from there and as you can see the whole window will come off. That's where the 10 mil bolt goes through. There's another one. So the whole window will come out. That bit comes out first. So you just work it out. It comes out quite easily. Sorry, I can't show you how it comes out because I haven't got no one to film it for me. But you have to kind of work it out, turn it that way, and they will come out from the back. So once you've done that, if your motor is still working, you need to change it by unscrewing three of them torques. They're 25 torques. I've undone them from there and put it on there. So this is all ready now to go in. It goes through that bit there quite easily it'll go in so it's quite nice and easy once it's in obviously bolt it on using all your screws that you removed which you're gonna see they the only 10 mil bolts they're gonna have on here and then bolt it all back together 
and that should be pretty much it. Then you just have to do reverse order to install everything. And that's pretty much it guys. So I hope this will help you. Sorry it's not really a perfect video because I have to film it with one hand and do it with the other hand so I can't really do everything. I'm trying to get myself a GoPro to put on my head and film everything that I'm doing. But it's not being very helpful. So I need to save some money and get one of them I guess. But hopefully this will show you what you need to do. Pretty much this explains everything if you know what you're doing. It just helps you with all the location of the screws and bolts and just know what you're gonna be up against. So yeah guys, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to my channel, please like and share my videos and hopefully this will sort you out with this problem. Thank you very much. Bye guys.